Edifex is a proud partner of X Global. If you are someone who hates waiting long, like five days to four working days, for your withdrawal to arrive, then, then look, look no further. As X Global offers instant withdrawals, this means that if you put in a withdrawal request, your money will reflect the, the same, same day. day. X Global is also under the conduct by the FSCA and the FSB number 51306. As a partner of X Global, I will be initiating amazing events, competition and exclusive events where you and a friend can go to some amazing place. And I know it's a challenge for my competitors. X Global also has the best spread and zero commission on all trades you take. I forgot to mention, if you have any problems with the company, they have a 24 7 customer line and they will get back to you immediately. Sign up under my link and if you make a deposit of 500 Rand, they will give you 50% in credit to trade with. The link is in the description down below. Hi guys, uh, hope you had a lovely day. Today we are going to cover market approach. Uh, and in market approach, uh, I'll be discussing first thing, why do M's, W's and head and shoulder fail? And the other thing, uh, analyzing how to properly approve analyze market. Now, why do M's and W's fail? If you uh, together with head and shoulders, there are three reasons or three pointers uh, I've highlighted. Now, the first reason why M's and W's fail because of um, uh, people are not looking at a bigger time frames. You will find uh, that uh, you are analyzing, you see an M on a smaller time frame. While you see an M, in a smaller time frame, but the structure on the bigger time frame is still saying something else. For an example, you have this time frame there and that time frame right here. In this uh, time frame, let's say you have opened in minutes, and you have here right, your time frame. We, um, if on the 15 minutes we found a structure market is going down, down and it is now eating your blue. expectation we expect the market to move all the way but on the bigger time frame you find it was an accumulation or an M right there. It broke down here. Then here at this point is what's happening. So the likelihood of this type of W to fail to continue downwards very high because of which here in the, here in the bigger time frame recently new MO there and here you had impulse probably most of the time you'll find that this is a correction correction when you get another impulse That's uh, one of the, the reasons why you get your M's and your W's feeling. It's because now the M's and the W's are con the bigger time frame structure. Part of this uh, reason I remember uh, the graph. Left my head, we had a very nice. Which failed because of in the uh, 
there. This is be right here. Fifty. We had this M here. So control that there. And people entered it. It was very nice. When they enter that M right there, that the market this big M retraced here and started to shoot up uh, this one in V15 we are talking about was on the structure is it completing the buy that it has not yet completed it's to shoot down at the current moment but that m um, failed because of people did not look at the biggest same applies this m um, right here. you have a smaller m right here you have the impulse correction right there and you have another impulse so People enter this M thinking that this point. Why did this M right here, while this one right here, this double top, passed this one shot all the way down? All the way. Down. Why is it like that? Now, me to my second point. Uh, people uh, take trades which are not at the major support and now this thing right here failed because it was not a major support and resistance or part here was not a support this one as you can see to our bigger time frame right there on why it took the resistance point for the market is creating major support and resistance zone plus price action right here the goji that is why this now it has passed net net so people don't look at bigger time frame what's happening there and the second thing uh they'd like to trade in between we like to uh trade in and M or a W in between, and we like to enter and in between. Uh, big problem. Uh, when I say in between, I mean in between uh, the zones, major resistance. What you uh, look at most of the time is it at if you are. Uh, trading a retracement a pattern your m your w or your head and shoulder is it at the major support and resistance zone is it supporting the structure in the bigger time frame now the third thing contradicting market structure I'm going to use the same uh, example there this m here m right here it contradicted Action impulse correction impulse after an impulse we expect the correction then we expect another impulse that is pure market impulse when you have an impulse you have a correction then we expect another impulse the downward impulse upwards correction we expect another impulse. people call it the a b c 
ED pattern. So always look at structure. Is your M, your W, your head and shoulder contradicting structure? Always look at uh, look at it contradict or is it in line with market? And when it's in line with market structure, then you know uh, that the market normally will go when it is with these three main points they are very very important take into place when trading look at your bigger time frames look at what's happening in a bigger time frame second thing look at your media support resistance where you are taking the trade is it at the major support now the third thing um the trade that you are taking is it contradicting the uh, market structure now you know when you have an impulse and it's the only impulse in that direction you have then you start to have a correction a w or an m or a head and shoulder the most likely the impulse the second impulse is going to be in the direction of the first impulse so that w or m will likely so this is why most of uh, the patterns find you see a very nice m in the market very nice like here see a very nice m in the market you want to enter the m then after you entering the market shoots in your direction it's because of those three reasons uh, does it uh is it in line with the bigger time frame does it um contract uh, is it at your uh, major time frame is it at your major support and resistance those are the important things to look at when you are analyzing the market like uh, let's look at this one in a smaller time frame. Uh, this w here This W. Some people have entered the W right there. Show you. They have entered the W right here. This one and said, "Oh, it's a buy." Oh, okay. There we go. All right. Uh, it has crossed our uh, major zones. Oh, nice. And the market now. It's uh, you enter. It tries to show you are in a little bit of profit. Then after that, you find this should be normal. Wonder why? What's it? The time frame, time frame, check structure, the structure, is structure, and as I've shown you, firstly here you had this impulse, you had the correction, expect another move downside. When it breaks, when it comes out out of this contraction, we expect the break to downside. Wait to the down why because now be agreeing structure with structure depending in and will be following down values it will tick the break will be at the major resistance zone it will be a tick uh market structure it will be also so those are the type of things you look at trading m your w now in order for you avoid now trading badly or in, in this mistake trading m's and w's um, i have given you here uh, analyzing step or market analyzing steps or market up the first step that we do we draw our support and resistance line on the bigger time that is the first let's look at any first step go to your weekly that is the weekly you can go to monthly you'll find nobody stop we put our support resistant support and resistant 
resistant mines, cotton resistant mines. Uh, I'm going to put 10 here, but this is not a valid support and resistant line. Of it doesn't have it. Now, then we come to our second second step: adjust support and resistant line on the smaller time frame. Because we were in weekly, we we're in weekly here. Now move to daily in order for us to adjust our lines that, that uh, precision that we want to adjust the resistant lines which can adjust them there we go uh, this one we can put here to more value yeah now it rejected here forming a head and shoulder. We'll go now to our four hour. In our four hour, we have line here. We have that line there. Then we check any zone that we think. We have this one right there. Touch, touch, touch. It touched and it touched. Uh, and you can adjust right there. Now we know that this head and shoulder major zones. So if we're going to take a buy, now this also applies as our neckline. Once it breaks here, now we have a proper buy from here up right at that portion. So we go to small frames. Oh, okay. Adjustment. There we go. Find there, there, there. Touch okay. It touch fine. It touch fine there. And therefore, there okay. Then we go. Let him from here. You see this double bottom there. You see why it passed? It was our major zone right there. This is more or less like a V, V bottom. You have a pin bar there. So you do that and uh, look at structure uh, in bigger time frame. So if we are about to take a trade, we're taking a trade, we're going to come to that time frame and look at what is saying. Structure at this moment is still supporting the cell. They have cell movement. So this is a possible retracement because of this right there. Yeah. Structure is still a uh, structure until we have. So, the other thing look for entries in smaller time frame. That is the last step that you do. Entries in smaller time frame. Minutes. Right there, like I told you, this buy would have taken it nicely. Uh, nicely. No. This guy here, I will not have taken it because uh, first thing, it did not touch, even though it's considered as a touch, it did not touch my uh, my major line. And was broken there. Go up and look in a smaller time frame, still right here. So if it breaks here, I'm going to check what's happening in the smaller time frame. Then when I check uh, in the smaller time frame, if it the retest it gives me a very nice retest, you know, uh, at this area right here, I'm going to take the buy. You know that this is a valid head and shoulder. Head and shoulder looks valid. Looks like it will push the market up. Yeah. Then we'll see what the market does. Uh, yeah. So at this moment, we do not take it because of uh, the head and shoulder. If as long as it does not pass the neckline, I possibility of also failing. Uh, so that is the other thing uh, that uh, we like to talk about with entries. That neckline as but the reason why for this topic, uh, the reason for this topic 
thoughts of this guy here because of this guy here you have a situation with the market going down it did an m you had your neckline and it passed the neckline then you got your here you are expecting it to go up reality hit the market onwards mm -hmm. then you start to wonder what really really drive them so first thing we do when you are about to take such a trade you look at the market in a bigger the market whether this is going to fail the second thing we look at is it at the major support and risk this w that the major support and then so then the third thing we look at now if you look at uh, uh, the contradictory market structure if you look at this it's impulse we had the correction here so therefore we expected an impulse to go in downwards so we had low expectations concerning this w impulse correction what do you expect another impulse to the downside okay. from a very nice head and shoulder shoulder head shoulder agreeing with the impulse just in nickel line right there then you have so right there but don't why it shot down so we don't just see an m or a w then we enter here head and shoulder then you enter no it doesn't work that way you check your pointers check bigger structure also saying check is it at the major support and resistance zone check, is it not contradicting market structure this was contradicting market structure hence the w now so then people wish why we have this perfect w and the market started to shoot all the way down because now people now are not expecting what always look at market structure always look at whether market always look at market structure always look at where the market is going and you are going to have your proper interest every now and then have a day and happy trading